Well, howdy, folks. Ah, here we go. Another episode of What the Hell Am I Doing? Okay, well, you know, I had this scooter, this 78 Honda Express, um, and I created a video earlier on it. And I thought, what the hell? You know, I'm going to see if I can get this damn thing running. Well, after <laughs> many hours of ignition issues, I got it running, and so one thing led to another so I cleaned up these rusty rims one of them there that's the back wheel here's the front wheel I still got to work on this one but um, ah, what the hell I'll take it apart I got some parts on order for it I got a new head for it compression is a bit low runs about 90 psi so it should be about 160 so I thought, well, I got it running. I drove it around the yard. Uh, I should have videoed that. So, it's like one thing led to another. And here we go. So, I'm in the process of sanding this down. And I uh, was testing some uh, different sandpaper and stuff on this tube. So, but it's coming out pretty good. And I got the front forks over there. Handlebars are over here. Which, meh. These handlebars are okay. They'll work, but then I got the front forks right there. I got the gas tank down here. Headlight, headlight bucket. These are the insides of the uh, front forks. We got brakes here. We got the Honda cover, which is pitted, but I want to powder coat it. So I got some yellow paint coming. Um, and this this is what it is right now I swear I, I got a serious problem with this shit but you know I, uh, I do like a challenge and I got it running so the engine is sitting down here you can see that white cover there um, and these are the front and rear fenders so I'm going to source another rear fender the stays for the fenders are pretty shot so I found some on eBay and I'm talking to a guy with those but that's where we stand with this. So hopefully here in another week or so, I'll um, have this thing uh, repainted a bright yellow color. Not exactly the Honda color, because that stuff was god-awful expensive. But <coughs> we'll uh, see how she looks. And uh, I'll do another update on it. Uh, this is the handlebars. I'm going to keep those. I did sand off all the major rust. And... I mean, for what this thing's worth, it's not really worth buying new handlebars and uh, getting all that stuff on it. I mean, if we decide to keep it, that's one thing. But, I mean, if I decided to sell it, I mean, you're looking at maybe 800 bucks for something like this. I mean, it's a little 50cc scooter. Um, the uh, head that I got coming, though, is a 60cc head. So, maybe I'll tweak third, a whopping 35 miles an hour out of this bad boy so brace yourselves um, but that's where we stand on this thing at the moment and it's coming around along uh, I need to do more videos on this, this is the Trailmaster 80 which is about 95 percent done I still gotta finish buffing it putting some stickers on the uh, side panels there um, I got an oil seal I'm waiting for for the clutch and <coughs> excuse me the uh, proper shift lever for it there uh, that one's rubbing which now I got to repaint the side of the tank because it's rubbing and then we got the um, Suzuki here that I'm working on the TC 185 so um, and it runs just fine I was waiting on some oil seals for the clutch and the shift shaft seal I got those put in uh, tonight and it's running just fine so that'll be once I get done with this uh, project over here sitting on the bench then I will start tearing apart the either the Suzuki TC 185 this one here or I will start tearing apart our 64 65 Yamaha Campus 60 and we are going to do this in complete jet gloss black um, so pretty excited about that and it runs just fine I've, I got to replace the clutch but I've already got the clutch stuff for it so um, but it's it's pretty pretty cool and we like the old bikes here so anyway uh, that's an update on this and then I will uh, 
add to this and keep you guys posted. Have a good one.